We see so many telcos investing in location intelligence right now, not only in Europe or in the US, but also in the five continents. Right now, 80% uh, of the big telcos in the world are actually investing in big data, and the market is actually meant to reach almost 80 billion by 2020 in terms of data monetization from big telcos. Uh, and in that regard, uh, location intelligence has proven to be a key component, and we strongly believe that it will act as a major business intelligence player for the industry going forward. So the three main challenges that right now telco companies are facing are first, uh, to improve customer satisfaction, and the only way of doing this is by creating geographically segmented offerings. For that, location intelligence software and solutions are actually uh, the best suited technology to try to really create clusters and segments of the population and uh, create way more defined and granular levels of uh, geographies in which you can really characterize your customer and therefore create a way more uh, defined or specific offering. The second one is reducing churn and for that you need to overlay both the network health and coverage but also at the same time customer complaints. By putting both together, especially in a map, uh, normally big telcos actually get to the conclusion of where do they have unserved areas and where do they have areas with low coverage or just poor customer uh, attention or satisfaction. So therefore it's a really easy call to action for those to telcos once they identifies those uh, silos or those clusters. And the third one is actually to make sense of all the data that they're capturing, especially the location data. And that uh, the only way of doing that is actually creating data products in which they can sell that intelligence to their customers, especially big government agencies, uh, especially also big retailers. They want to know, again, what is the flow of traffic of people that is moving around their stores and around cities. They want to know how people are uh, not only consuming, but how are they behaving from a movement point of view. To not only understand where these people live and work, but also how they are navigating throughout the city and be able to visualize the flow of people and identify as well critical traffic points in these urban areas.